Laquita Gante is a resident of the city of Daytona Beach. She was very smart, very smart, and very outgoing. There was a homeless gentleman by the nickname of Rooster. He was confined to a wheelchair, and any time Laquita would see Rooster, she would go out of her way to help him. She was tough. She didn't take anything from anybody, which is sometimes not good. Unfortunately, Daytona Beach also has a, a seedier side. Ridgewood Avenue, it runs north to south. It's actually part of the road that runs from Key West up to Maine. It's a place where narcotics are um, readily available. Many struggling with homelessness, addiction, mental health issues are regularly out here. It's known for prostitution. Just people who have fallen on hard times really have nowhere else to go. Laquita Gunther frequents that area around Ridgewood, Ridgewood Madison Avenue. She did engage in prostitution from time to time. I just didn't agree with her lifestyle, and she thought I was square, so there you go, which I probably was. Back then, I was right is right and wrong's wrong, you know. We just disagreed. There was a local bar called Chubby's in the 600 block of North Beach Street, and she was well known at Chubby's. Laquita has a conversation with her friend, Stacy Dittmer. They were discussing getting together to start preparing Christmas dinner, and uh, Laquita told her that uh, she would do that, um, but first she wanted to go to Chubby's. Stacy Dittmer waited up uh, until approximately 1 a.m. Christmas morning for Laquita to show up, but unfortunately, she never made it there. December 26th, 2005. There was a gentleman going to a auto parts store right at the corner of Beach Street and Madison Avenue. There was a little alley um, separating the auto parts store with the next building, and he found Miss Gunther's body. Laquita Gunther was found naked, shot in the head in a narrow alleyway off Ridgewood Avenue, not far from her haunts. She was found on her knees, face down. She was naked. Uh, except for she was wearing a pair of socks. Male sperm was found inside of her mouth. Uh, she had what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the back of her head. It didn't matter what she did in her life. She was a human being, and you had no right taking her life. Who gave you to make yourself God? It's not something you believe. It's nobody deserves that.